children's ministry. Today is the fourth Sunday in Advent and the theme for this Sunday is hope. So to help us uh, deepen our understanding of what hope is, I want to read for you a book called God is Hope. Now hope means you, you can put your hope in things, which means you like are waiting for it to happen. You, you won't even trust that it's going to happen or you're longing for it to happen. Uh, but sometimes those are hard concepts to understand. And so my hope or desire for you as you listen to this book is that you might make stronger connections to what hope is through the way that they connect the idea of hope uh, to different things in our world. Those are called analogies when you make a connection from one thing to another. You relate them together. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this book. And I have some visuals here to kind of help along the way. But I'll also hold up the pictures. God is Hope by Amy Parker, illustrated by Chris Saunders. God is our hope, and all that hope is, a lamp to light our paths. The warm sun rising on a waiting world, our Savior arriving at last. He is the green returning to earth after the melting snow. He is the whisper of fresh spring rain begging the flowers to grow. He is the promise of life in a robin's nest, wings about to unfurl. He is the strength in a fawn's little legs standing in a brand new world. God is the blossom on the dogwood tree, marked with crimson and white. He is the angel rolling back the stone that frightened the soldiers that night. God is the sunlight in an empty tomb after three days in the dark. He is the glowing flame of the gospel, starting with one little spark. He is the hope of mercy and grace, turning our wrongs into right. He is the love that stood in our place, and we rest in that hope tonight. God is the promise of all things new, and the peace we cannot understand. He is the hope in held inside of your heart because he holds you in his hands. And the book ends with this verse from Psalm 65, verse 5. You answer us with awesome and righteous deeds. God our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth. I encourage you this week as we approach Christmas uh, to remember that God is our hope. That the hope uh, the joy, the promise, the love, everything that the people of Israel had been waiting for uh, was coming in the hope of the little baby Jesus on Christmas morning. And so just as those people felt the hope of, Jesus, of God's promises coming true, I pray that on this Christmas you may feel the hope of God coming near, coming close to you this year. Until next time.